All right, welcome to the prescribed fire portion of our uh, Alabama habitat restoration project here in East Central Alabama. Uh, today we're going to be putting fire back into this site. This site has not burned in who knows how long. Uh, and one thing I want to talk about is some of the parameters that we're burning under on this site with those considerations. Uh, one thing to think about when reintroducing fire is feeder root damage. As the leaf litter sits in these stands for a long time, those bottom layers of leaf matter called duff start to decompose and turn into organic soil and these trees will send roots up into that over time. If you burn on too dry of a day, uh, you can actually consume or put too much heat down into that duff layer and damage those feeder roots and stress and potentially kill some of the trees you're wanting to retain. So how we get around that is looking at the KBDI, which is a drought index. It tracks rainfall over time and is a good estimation of how wet uh, the lower layers of the duff will be on that site and whether or not they'll be uh, involved in the burning. Uh, right now, the KBDI on this site is about 100, um, so we really want to stay below 200 when you're doing a reintroductory fire. Another way that you can check is actually dig down in that leaf litter and check those, those decomposing layers and make sure they feel moist and have moisture in them so they won't be consumed uh, during the burn. Today, the relative humidity, the low is only going to be 40%. Uh, the temperature is a little bit higher than what we want it to be. Uh, the temperature is going to be about 75, but we do have some intermittent cloud cover that will help balance that out. Uh, we've got a nice uh, steady north breeze, it's supposed to be between 5 and 7 miles per hour. And that's really important because that breeze helps carry that heat out of the stand and, and keeps from scorching uh, the upper layers of your trees that you're trying to retain. Um, Hopefully this video will do a good job documenting this process. Um, if you have any questions, uh, please leave a comment in the video. Um, you can even leave a, uh, a phone number and, and if uh, I can get to you, it may take a while, but I'd be happy to get in touch with you and answer any questions you may have. Um, so hopefully you guys learned something from this video and uh, like and follow the channel for more content. That's good. That's good right there. Fire, I'll film.
so we've wrapped up our burn today. Uh, overall, everything went really well, had a really good burn. Uh, just like we predicted, uh, we didn't have a whole lot of uh, involvement with our 100,000 hour fuel, so a lot of the slash um, did not add a whole lot of intensity to the fire. Um, so we had a nice um, low to moderate intensity fire, just like we wanted to uh, introduce fire back on this site. Uh, we can't wait uh, for a couple more weeks for the weather to warm up a little bit, get a few rains, and start seeing all the uh, herbaceous understory that starts to develop on this site. Uh, that's going to feed our deer and uh, our turkeys and also provide a lot of uh, quality cover for uh, both species. Um, so uh, hope you guys learned something, and uh, thanks for watching.